Hello, this is Crafty Scotty, and today we are playing Crafty Firma Craft Global. Okay, uh, between last last episode and this episode, I actually done a bit of leg work. Mostly, I finally made the storage room. Uh, cobbles, etc., are stacked here, but there are some things that. I they are still here, they will be moved eventually. Also, uh, forge related uh, ingot um, or related stuffs are going to stay here. Okay, also, I went fishing a bit, it was needed for me. And let me just raise my bond with this little fella. Thank you. Also, I made some small changes to the kitchen itself, like this. Uh, actually, marble slabs are quite nice as a count, uh, kitchen counter. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Also, I'm going to make a second floor. And, uh, probably stairs are going to be here. But this building is... Currently not done, but it works. But the major thing is, I remember uh, we have seasons here, so I have a limited time to plant crops and uh, then take crop harvest them. And my cat decides to do some strange things. Okay. Also, if you remember correctly, we were going to craft a pump. Yeah. Uh, that didn't go as planned. What I was planning to do was... This fella. This fella uh, can easily create a uh, body of fluid with anything. Yeah, I was planning to use that. Until I saw the recipe. Bucket. We cannot create a bucket now. Actually, if we really try hard, we can. But it would be our only objective at that moment. Uh, by the way, uh, bucket is kind of sort of the end game of the normal terraforming craft. Um, that means, yeah, our main objective is craft a vanilla bucket. <laughs> okay, uh, that strange thing aside. Ah, yeah. I was planning to create a fake bo uh, pool. A fake uh, pond upstairs. But I cannot. So I decide to create a place like this. And this place is going to be the uh, going to be for the crops that need a lot more a lot of hydration. Like melons, green beans, potatoes, jute. Jute is actually quite important for us. And we have aquadax. Aquadax work like that. They kind of move the water a bit. Actually, just delete this and yeah. So yeah, uh, this is how Minecraft, uh, Terraforma Craft water works. Okay. Now we have now have some small objectives. First, I'm going to build a small hut here. It's going to be the farmer farmer house. Second, I need to cr uh, create areas for the animals. Designated areas for each animal. Because uh, it's currently quite unmanageable for me. Uh, so I just let their... Familiarity went down. Uh, 
so yeah, uh, that's not fun for me. Especially I need a designated area for the cows and uh, uh, pigs. Pigs are quite important. And ducks. Also, one more thing. I found an olive tree. Olive tree is super useful. And let me just show you. Olive. Olive. It's simple, right? Uh, I can use it on the raw pizza. I can dry it. Etc. Etc. Or I can create vinegar, yeast, etc. The main thing is olive paste. I can create olive oil water with it and then jute net olive oil water I can just create olive oil oh, by the way it's uh, not a super uh, effective recipe but with olive oil you can create a lot more lot more stuff First, yeah, we can make pizza oil. Also, if we mix with glowstone, we can create incandescent oil. Okay. So let's look at the olive oil itself. Actually, no. Just look here. Light sources. Lamps. Lamps. Add fuel to it, and fuel is olive oil. Yeah, <laughs> we can create this. Also, another lamp full is tallow. We can use that too, but uh, for tallow, we need to hunt a lot of stuffs. Uh, I have some tallow, I uh, hunt a orca. I know I'm a monster for doing that, but it's not that renewable as olive oil itself. Also, I a bit flattened this area. I'm not sure should I uh, delete this cave, because I can use this cave as a uh, simple... Uh, how can I say? A sailing starting point. But I'm not sure because we are surrounded by water. We literally surrounded by water. So it's not a emergency for us. What is emergency for us is our iron stock. Yeah. Uh, let me just show you. This is all the iron I have at the moment. I need to get some iron. Uh, actually, no, I, I just need to process this, but still. But let me just process some iron. It's going to be important. Uh, why we need iron? Uh, first, I need to make some adjustments. I, by the way, created the. Uh, I did this because there was too much snow and it was interfering with the creation of iron and steel. So I needed to do that. Okay, let's start this. Okay, I need iron for iron flask. Iron flask is a really, really useful thing for me because first our uh, leather flask is almost dead. And 
I have I have now access to iron, so I can I can just create iron flask, and it's much better. Uh, by the way, this is unkilled animal products, and this is killed animal products. Okay. Flask, better flask. Oh, uh, I can just do that. How convenient. Let me just... Yeah. That's super convenient. I just need two. I love these machines. <laughs> I really love these machines. Okay, and I need this uh, Barlet Club, which requires jute, so... Uh, and I have some. Jute, 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 jute. Where did I put all my jute? Okay, it should be somewhere. It's... Where is it? It shouldn't be here. Uh, unless I accidentally put there. But it should be here. Ah, okay. Okay, now let's just make this. And it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. And we will automate this see, stuff too. And by the way, we are going to create those a lot in the future because... Uh, crate also uses them a lot. Okay. What we also need. Uh, I'm finished. Uh, in fact, we need two iron ingots for that. Also, and bladder and string. Bladder. I need to kill some animals too. Our bladder stock is low. Also, I uh, crafted the boat. It was the mod I suspected. It was had uh, it created problems for it also if i melt these uh, actually yes if i melt this it's going to turn into cast iron so i'm not going to melt it a uh, mechanical press should i make a mechanical press mechanical press cast iron it's an extension. Uh, okay. Cast iron is super easy. Let me just craft. I create eight at a time. And now I'm going to use those. It's yellow white. Yellow white, but they burn a lot more. Okay. Uh, for this, it's not uh, that important, but for this stuff, it's kind of important. Also, there is one more, uh, one more type of coal, and it's the best. It's burn hotter and it's less longer. So yeah, uh, this is, uh, it's also our one of our end goals too. Okay. It has seven minutes, and during this time I am just making cast iron. Okay, everything seems to be ready. Let's craft... Oh, it's two. This is super easy. Barely any inconvenient. And... Let's get this. Okay. You know, need blocks. Okay, let me just get you. And voila, you're ready. And you are also ready. Okay, where can I put you? This. My inventory is a mess. <laughs> like every mod is Minecraft Let's Play. Thank you. 
and Yes. <laughs> That's much more easy. Okay, uh, we have this. Now, if we get Lost Crispy, Iron Flask. We all need... We need you, right? We still need to fire this up. Also, one more thing. Uh... Lightning Rod. Okay, just Copper Rod. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. I, I'm gonna need some Copper Rods. Machines are man's best friend. Okay. I'm gonna make uh, four lightning rods. Uh, why do you ask? Because there was almost a fire. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, resource pack uh, rec recommended by a viewer. And it's quite useful. Okay, flask. Oh yeah, we now have our better flask, and I can just, okay, it's hooks, uh, it can hold two buckets, so yeah, it's uh, quite amazing for us, also let me just eat something, and I need to make, yeah, rent. Yeah, I need to kill some more animals. <laughs> okay, we have our iron flask now. Now, just milk our... Oh, you too. Cow, cow, cow. Thank you. Let's see here. Ah, bummer. I hate when this happens. Okay, that fixes the problem. Also, this is one of the reasons why we need uh, closed areas for our animals. And... Okay, they will... They will grow eventually. And we will. Oh! There's a tiny cow! Okay. It's a cow. Nice. And the other is. One cow. The other is. Here. It's also a cow. Good. Uh, having two female. Two new females is actually good news for me. So yeah. Okay. Next. Uh, why we have lightning rods, by the way? Uh, there was almost a fire. So I'm just going to plant lightning rods here. Ah, uh, you see the. Ah, uh, you hear the thunder. Okay, then let's just put you here. Should I... Actually, I, I can make this area into a uh, bush farm. So, yeah. That would be much more useful. One here and one... Um, actually, this can be just here. Okay, this is for uh, okay for now. We need to dig underneath and the hair to actually put some our uh, crate machines. Also, I want to automate, especially 
the iron and steel production. Uh, if you look at it, rough iron ingots. If you look at it, we can just use a deployer and we can just refine our uh, just a deployer chain can refine our iron super easy uh bloomery part is not easily automated but yeah S steel part is actually a lot more easy stealing it high carbon steel just same stuff same stuff and it's just casting casting part is we need to create a automated uh, mold fabrication which is actually s still easy okay uh, for our next projects i need to make a basement actually two basements also i will create a i can just extend this building to create the factory parts yeah a small extension and can be connected on top yeah that that makes sense actually connected on top and bottom yeah uh, i like that idea for now it's going to be the under here so and i need to finish the uh, after i move this stuff i need to finish the dam itself so yeah we have a lot of things to do for now but before that i will just chill around and do terraforming managing inventory and lighting candles and uh, not candles uh torches also i will wait uh, for our crops to grow because i need them i need food i'm super low on food uh it was a harsh winter for us and we had them we had to move and etc etc so yeah for now we'll just wait and do some legwork this is crafty and have a nice day